Okay, so Lydia McLaughlin's new book, Joyful, encourages women to pursue joy and confidence and purpose in their faith. So joining me now is Lydia herself. Yay. She's right here, beautiful in pink. Thank you Aww. so much for joining Thank me. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited. So yeah. let's talk about the book. How, um, what was it like for you writing this book? What, what yeah. was the purpose? So it's a devotional book, which mm -hmm. is just every day. You're, instead of in the morning where you reach for your phone, you would reach for the book. Mm -hmm. And it starts it's just a verse and then we talk about and unpack kind of that verse and then we have a prayer so it's more just to give you joy and to have you refocus kind of your day and framing it in a different way so starting those little habits that would make I guess big changes what are the key habits that we're talking about because I feel like everyone is so busy they yeah. go through life almost forgetting that they are trying to live life yeah so oh, how 100%. does this book help people well I just think that the world can be really stressful and even just like all the yes. different things that are happening and I really believe in gratitude mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of like being grateful and taking time to appreciate everyone is just looking down and on their phones and so take a moment to look at the sky and look up and if you're reminded of those kind of things in the morning to take in for your day I think it really sh can shift our whole day so my goal would be that this book would change women's perspectives and set them free in different chains that they have in their life is this something that's always been a part of you, like growing up and into becoming an adult? Or is this something that you actually had to take time out and say, hey, I need to change certain things about myself. I'm, I'm forgetting to look up. I'm yeah. forgetting to take that breath. Yeah, well, for me, my faith became really important when I was in high school. And I think it's easy to look at me like I was on a reality show. Obviously, like I'm not bad looking. <laughs> I have like from Beautiful. the outside point of view, mm -hmm. like you're like, oh, she has it all, whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, it doesn't matter if you have it all or whatever the world tells you to go after, you still will be unsatisfied. And so I've always kind of been around that and wondering like, how can I fill this this whole, how, why am I anxious when I have everything the world says to, that you need? Okay. So yeah, and I believe that those answers would be in my book. I love that. <laughs> okay, so you're not just an author, you're also a magazine editor yes. for The Nobleman and a yes. mother, mother of three. Three boys. I am not a mom, but I work with a, a bunch of moms here. I yeah. don't know how you guys balance it all yeah it's you're super women well motherhood's the best thing it honestly is I my, my oldest son is starting high school next year so oh, this wow. is like a big season in our family's life but you can do it all it's hard but um you just have to be focused and present and you can you can't do it all at once so I think just knowing like if I'm going to be a good mother, I'm missing some of those meetings or closing some of those deals. And so how do you balance it all? It's all about work life balance. Yeah. And oh, you yeah. have to give yourself that that time. Oh, yeah. And I'm the, a better mom mm -hmm. if I go to the gym like we all, our household knows that. <laughs> so my husband will be like, you haven't been to the gym in a couple of days, like go work it out. <laughs> I was on vacation recently and my husband's like, you seem uptight. Can you go to the gym? Yeah. Said, OK, it's thanks. mentally yeah. for some of us like you need to know what that is. And that's totally. just knowing yourself and knowing like okay what do I need and for me it is working out I love going to the gym it's like a mental and physical thing I love it okay so initially you didn't want to be on a reality TV show no yeah so what made you change your mind I mean, I feel like God did. I just, I I was laughing and I really like people and I knew Housewives was kind of like throwing tables. And even through my whole audition process with the um, producers, I would say, you know, I'm not like a drama girl. I like people to get along, mm -hmm. but that just happened to be what they were looking for. And I really believe in the timing of your life. And I believe in just like trusting your destiny and trusting God's plans for you. And so for me, it just all worked together to be like, they want Wanted me. They wanted like a peacemaker, a fun, kind of quirky person, and that was just who I was. So it was a good fit at that moment of time in my life. Well, we already ran out of time. Thank you so much for joining me, but yeah. I don't want to forget your mom is here. Yeah. So if we could just take a shot of her really fast. Yay. Hello. She's the best. Thank you for joining. You were a big, big hit on the show, too. So thank you for coming on by. My pleasure. Really appreciate it. And you can find more information about this segment on our website. Yeah. So join us at kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap.